Okay, I think the next thing we're going to want to do as far as milk and likes from Curie is go look for... We're finally going to do it. <laughs> okay, that's pretty well. We're going to go look for the railroad. We don't have to worry about Swan anymore. Took care of that. And, whoa, this is... We've got uh, Brotherhood coming in here someplace. There you go. Hmm, I wonder what they're dropping in on. Combat zone. Something, a Trinity Tower, maybe? They have a whole deal with super units. Somewhere around here. Does that recall? Okay, here we go. At Journey's End, follow Freedom's Lantern. Freedom Trail Marker. Seven. And A. Some sort of code? Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common, follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common, the start of the Freedom Trail. Does he lead you? You're a tour guide? Error. Response not recognized. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common, the start of the Freedom Trail. Okay, I think he just tells you. He doesn't actually guide you. Say, uh, Welcome, what was the other option? Boston Common, the start of the Freedom Trail. I'm interested in the history of this place. Let us go back hundreds of years. It is the year 1775. For seven years, thousands of British soldiers have camped on this very soil in their orderly rows of Tents led by General Thomas Gage. They seek to quell the growing tide of revolution the night of April 17. The officers are assembled, General Gage. Four days prior, I received word from the Earl of Dartmouth. We have our orders. Lieutenant Colonel Smith, gather 21 companies of our best men and carry them with the utmost expedition and secrecy to Concord. Once there, you will seize and destroy all artillery, ammunition, provisions, tents, small arms, and all military stores. But what of the colonists, General? Take care that the soldiers do not plunder the inhabitants or hurt private property. But we can and must defang them. So, near midnight, Colonel Smith marched with 700 Redcoats to face brave American patriots in the Battle of Lexington and Concord, and thus the Revolutionary War began. Continue on the trail to walk through more of our great city's history. So, let's follow the road here. And do, do, do. Now, for those of you who've never been to Boston, there really is a Freedom Trail that's marked on the ground. And you can follow that, and it will actually take you, just like this, to um, do the different places. Matter of fact, it's a funny story. 
I was there back in, oh, what was the year? 1987? 87 when we went to Boston? I was a kid. Massachusetts State House. There you go. That's pretty. And the Freedom Trail kind of goes left and then right. So that's interesting. Someone's kind of painted that in. And we decided to take a short cr across the Freedom Trail because we just wanted to see something closer. And it took us through Chinatown or some equivalent. Very bad neighborhood. I mean, we're there, you know, middle class family with a lot of camera gear walking through people offering us drugs. It was a very rough place. And just as we thought, we were pretty well doomed. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I am in combat again. Alright, that was pretty effective. Clickety clackety. I don't know if her hammer is going to do a lot against the rules. Yeah, pretty much. I believe we're supposed to file a police report, yes? And no. all the little things go in baggies for evidence. It's fall path. Um, old granary burying ground. Okay, that's... I'm sure we could investigate more. Might be worth taking a more, uh, a less practical path here. We're, we're on a mission. But just as we started wondering where the heck we got and why it was taking so long to go through this little shortcut, we figured it'd only be a block or two. Oh, this is great. This is Trinity Tower, isn't it? Where's the? That looked like it was this way, and into debris. This isn't the Freedom Trail, this is a highway path, overpass. Huh? I'm starting to think I'm going to want the shotgun soon. Someone there! There's a little rip, it bends this way. It goes into a wall. Okay. Good neighbor, that way. The Freedom Tale follows its palace is past. Here it is. No, I don't know if he's shooting at me. There's a lot of options. There it is. Bookstore. Follow the Freedom Trail. That might be the Old Norse Church. At any rate, in my story. Oh dear. That's pretty effective. This 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 kind of roly poly little guy comes out, walking from another completely direction, and says to us, "Excuse me, are you folks looking for the Freedom Trail?" And we're like, "Yes." And he says, oh, you want to go that way. And he, we walked over a block and then everything was fine. It was a very kind of interesting experience. This little guardian angel coming out of nowhere. Not a little guy. He wasn't, he wasn't huge. He was... Ah, Dead Raider. We'll take all your stuff, Dead Raider. That's part of the traditions of the... the dandy boy apples. Somebody's killing something in my... Oh, you got a whole laser gun thing going there. All right. Okay. Again, I have survived the hostilities. Am I supposed to be looking for markers on the way? Because I haven't seen any markers. I could cheat a little bit here. Something trying to chew at me.
Okay, this is not proving effective because they've got some cover. But you know what works really good against that? Explosive effects. What is this place? Fanuli Hall. Hmm, I wonder if I need to to hit every, try and find any, uh, I haven't really seen a whole lot of markers. It's, it's dark. Let's backtrack here, because you might need, might be one of the things where to, to get into something, you'll have had to have seen every single... Aha! 3i. Now, I think we could fast travel to Fanuli Hall, although it might not be a good idea. Oh, here we go. Now a six and an O. How do you go? Yeah, it must be this way. I hear something! Gonna be a good fight! Annoyed! God! Spineless human! Where's that coming from? I've killed these guys before. Do it! Scream! <laughs> Scream for mercy! I've lost the trail here. You know, you people. You're distracting your gunplay. Uh, where's the freedom trail and where's the blood? You know... Okay, we've definitely gone off the freedom trail here. Which, as I stated, is not always a good thing. end up in a bad neighborhood, which is what happened there, right? Where is the... Aha! Four. Mm -hmm. L. Definitely a code. Back where we started? Yeah. So now we should be able to go back to Fanuli Hall. Okay, so now. Picking up where we left off here. Hey. Who said hey? It wasn't me. Huh? Not sound, what is it? There's some nuclear material in there, I think, somewhere. Okay, freedom drill? Have you found something interesting? Yeah, some, some nuclear material, which is good. Um, where does the Freedom Trail go from here? Aha! So it goes which way? From here, I think. Over this way. Under the debris, around the de debris. De painted. This way. Around that corner. Around and around. I don't remember it being. Combat is quite vigorous exercise. 
8D next. What's this? Paul Revere's house. Norse Church. All right, this is kind of the point. Should settle most stuff down. You know, I'm pretty sure I've been in the old first church. Okay, this looks like it's obviously look for the lantern at the end of the trail. Just to make sure that stays dead. Lantern marker. That's an actual dead guy. That's a sort of dead guy. But you don't have to want to care about accuracy. Probably accurate. This place is most unsettling. We're surrounded by ghouls. I have had more than my feel of darkness. Okay, so here we have a thing with some wires. You're supposed to have my back here, Kerry. I'm trying to think. Okay, so we have spin counterclockwise. Hmm, it spins. <laughs> okay. No, that wasn't it. So, that's not right. By the way, this is the dumbest code ever. I happen to know what the code is. If you'd written on all the markers and said what they were. Rail. Railroad. That's the secret code. The secret code to see the railroad is railroad. That's like, you know, one... Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, and answer she my right questions. Up. Who the hell are you? Okay, I kind of like the, the, who are you? I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I 
I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out, one way or another. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Glad someone noticed. You know, you're practically famous. You're the leader of the Minutemen. I hear you cleared out the castle. Everyone's talking about that. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? And save sense is the good one. Let's say my son. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you got your revenge. But that doesn't bring your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their that, bondage. That's what I was looking for. At a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others Double is left. what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Okay, we got double loves on that one. Hi. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. It must put all of you in a very delicate situation. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. I wanted to wait. What's the vouch for me? So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Let's do a save before we go for the red. I have pretty high charisma. Really? Is that all? I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give. Let's go. Let's do it again. It's a luck game. I want to rock that EXP. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. All right. I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. 
You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. We must talk. You are so very, very distracting. You know this, yes? Go. Cool. Let's let's do a save. You're pretty distracting yourself. I had a point, a reason. Oh yes, my control of feelings is worse than before. And you, you are no help. <laughs> With your teasing of poor little Curie. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment, nice hair, and I am flustered, confused. Other times, people suggest the strangest and most lurid things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? Because you're so cute when you're confused. You are not making any of this easier, you. Oh, I must get a handle on this if I am ever to advance my experiments. Okay, so we rocked out that a little bit. So now we have to go meet him somewhere. That might be a good subject for another video, because... First of all, I don't want this one to be like two hours long. And we accomplished what we wanted. We wanted to find the railroad. Now we want to advance in the railroad enough to like, get the ballistic armor patch there. The like, we could do ballistic armor mods, and then... Um, then I'll start pursuing some of the stuff with the Brotherhood of Steel. Simply because I want to get the information out of the Cambridge Police Station so that I can then complete the quest for Eddie Winter. Is this convoluted enough? <sighs> On this note, staring at a giant hammer. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night. <laughs>